Hello, Calvary family. I'm Christy Donahue, Pastor Joe's wife and a teacher at Calvary Christian Academy. I am grateful to have an opportunity to share a devotional thought with you today from one of my very favorite books. The thought comes from the Old Testament book, Esther. Drama, power, romance, intrigue, scandal, courage, justice. It's what Netflix binge-worthy TV series are made of, except the story is a true story lived and written centuries ago. Here are some things you need to know. Xerxes the Great, Persia's king, he begins a search for a new queen. Esther, a young, beautiful Jewish maiden, captured King Xerxes' eye and heart. Mordecai, Esther's older cousin, he had adopted and raised her as his own daughter after her parents had died. He served as a Jewish official to the king, and he told Queen Esther to keep her nationality a secret to protect her. And then there's Haman. He was second in rank to King Xerxes, arrogant, considered himself a god. He had a deep hatred for the Jewish people. One day as Haman passed through town, the king's officials bowed down to him as was customary, but Mordecai refused to worship him. Haman, filled with rage and hatred, plotted to destroy Mordecai and the Jews in the kingdom. Haman led the king to sign, to sign a decree that allowed for the murder and plunder of all Jewish people on a single day, a day of murder without consequence, sentencing a genocide. The king signed the decree, unaware that his beloved Queen Esther was Jewish. This decree sentenced her to death. Mordecai made sure that the whole story was relayed to Queen Esther and exhorted her to go to the king, beg for mercy, and plead for her people. And here's her reply. Everyone knows that if anyone who appears before the king without being invited is doomed to die. No, Mordecai, I can't. His reply. Don't think for a moment that because you're in the palace, you will escape when all other Jews are killed. If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this? And here's her reply. Okay, I'll do it. Please have everyone you know fast and pray for me. If I die, I die. The thought I have for you is this. Consider the conversation between Esther and Mordecai. We know she was scared. We know she had valid concerns for her life. However, I love Mordecai's ex exhortation to her. Don't you see, Esther? This is all making sense now. Now we can see why God has placed you in the palace as queen. It's to save his people. Your position is not just for you. Wow, stop and think about this. Your circumstances, your job, your influence, your blessings, your family, your skills, your possessions, they are not just for you. Because of Queen Esther's courage, a whole nation was saved. Seeing her God-given opportunity, she seized it. Her life made a difference. Read the book of Esther. It's only 10 chapters. Watch for God at work in your life. Perhaps he has prepared you to act in such a time as this.